do you know about the Israel and Palestine conflict? Okay, well, I know that Israel and Palestine are fighting over land right now. Um, I know that Israel is supposed to be an ally to the United States. Uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu uh, has visited the United States frequently. Um, I know it's kind of a mess right now. So. What do you know about the Israel and Palestine conflict? I believe that it's a conflict over land, and neither country can agree on who owns what section of it. What do you know about the Israel and Palestine conflict? Um, what I know about it is that it's been a religious conflict that has been going on for years. What do you know about the Israel and Palestine conflict? Um, just that it's a religious conflict that's been going on for years. What do you know about the Israel and Palestine conflict? Mainly what dates back to when I was in college. Um, I did have a degree in international relations. So I studied it way back when, but it doesn't apply to what I do now. There were probably a number of wars in the 60s and 70s. Um, all dating, or all focusing on their belief that they own the, have the rights to a certain part of the land. What do you know about the Israel and Palestine conflict? Well, I do know it's a very complicated issue. It's a uh, issue that has been going on for 2,000 years. This is not something that is new. Um, and it is something that we do have to take a deeper look into, um, especially if we want peace in that particular area of the country, or that area of the world. The Israel and Palestine conflicts. I know that the conflict has been going on for many, many centuries, and it's over land. Arabs and Israelis have been fighting over Gaza for decades. Originating in the mid-20th century, this conflict can be traced back to Jewish immigration. Despite many attempts, Israelis and Palestinians have continuously tried and failed to reach a final peace agreement. Full-scale hostilities begin around 1947 to 48, with death tolls increasing by the hundreds, including women and children. In May 1948, Zionist leaders proclaimed the State of Israel. As British troops left the country, fighting broke out between the newly declared State of Israel and its <laughs> Arab neighbors. Around the same time, Jordan established control over the West Bank with the Tacit Agreement of Israel. Meanwhile, Egypt established control over the Gaza Strip. Control over Jerusalem is evenly split between Israel in the West and Jordan in the East. On December 11, 1948, the UN General Assembly passed Resolution 194. This law states that the Palestinian refugees who wish to return to their homes should be permitted to do so, and that those who did not should be compensated by Israel. The death toll continues to increase on September 5, 1972, when Palestinian gunmen killed 11 Israeli athletes during the Munich Olympics. It doesn't stop there. On October 6, 1973, Egypt and Syria organized a surprise attack on Israeli forces on the day of Yom Kippur and during the Muslim month of Ramadan. This war lasted for three weeks. It ended on October 22nd on the Syrian front and October 26th on the Egyptian front. It's been a religious conflict. It's a religious conflict. It's been going on for 2,000 years. I know that the conflict has been going on for many, many centuries. People think they know a lot about this infamous ongoing conflict, but they don't. Misconceptions are very common. Many people assume that this is a war between Muslims and Jews, or just generally a religious war, but that is not entirely the case here. It's actually far from it. This long-lasting conflict is more like a war over land and power. Others seriously overestimate how long this war has been going on by saying it's been happening for thousands of years. Yes, it has been happening for a very long time, but it's still considered a modern conflict. It roots back around a century, give or take, and it didn't formally begin until 1947 or 48. Another example is everyone's assumption that Palestine and Israel hasn't tried to resolve this conflict with a compromise or a deal. On the contrary, both sides have tried and failed to settle an agreement. We highly suggest people to educate themselves before they make a statement about something they obviously don't know much about. There is no easy or happy way out of this. If there were, this conflict would have ended a long time ago. We could encourage them to attempt to compromise again, but knowing of their past failed attempts, that most likely wouldn't work. This will probably last much longer, and if it ever ends, it will probably end in a large amount of death and bloodshed. <laughs>
During our interviews, we asked some people what they thought about this conflict and how we would resolve it. While Emily suggests world peace, Caitlin suggests to divide the land in half and give one to Israel and one to Palestine. And Jacob said that we need to defend Israel and help them gain land because it is the Holy Land. While going half and half may sound like an easy solution, both groups seem slightly too greedy to agree to that. Be a possible solution. I don't, I'm pretty um, negative on that. I don't think that there's much of a possible solution because it's so rooted in their cultural beliefs that they do have um, ownership of that land. I don't really think you're gonna, maybe education on each end with tolerance, but I, I don't see that as being practical. What do you think would be the possible solution for this conflict? Well, I think like any conflict, you have to get both sides together. If you don't get both sides together, then you won't ever have a solution that is equitable to both parties. So you got to get uh, both the Palestinians and the uh, Israelis to come together and to work out their differences. Um, and it needs to be something that is equitable for both sides. What do you think the possible solution would be? I don't know that they can come to a solution. 